Hi, we're here in Auburn, California, near Sacramento. We're with Clipper Creek, an uh, electric charging station company. They produce and manufacture charging stations here in California. This is all made in the USA. Let's go inside and get a tour of the company. Hi. Um, could you introduce yourselves for our viewers? Oh, yeah, I'm uh, Will Barrett with Clipper Creek. I'm awesome. the uh, inside sales manager here. Awesome. And could you tell us a little bit about the history of Clipper Creek to start out with, like where, how it was founded um, and what it's evolved to in today? Oh, absolutely, yeah. Um, so the, uh, the owners uh, and head engineers at Clipper Creek, they actually started in the uh, EVSE business in the mid-90s. Uh, they made their first charging station and sold it in 1994. Uh, but in about 2006, uh, when, when the announcement went out that Tesla was going to make an all-electric uh, sports car, um, they sort of got, uh, got a couple of the guys back together. Uh, it was uh, Jason France and Mike Rogers, who are the, the head uh, technology uh, engineers for our products. And uh, Jason France is our CEO today. Um, and they, they got together and they went to Tesla with our products and uh, basically won the business for high power charging stations for the uh, Tesla Roadster program. Um, right around the same time, BMW did a, uh, a pilot program for plug-in vehicles called the Mini E program. Um, and they won that business as well to deliver the high power charging stations for people uh, to install at their residences. Um, and, you know, from that time, uh, the company has just you know, continued to grow uh, with the industry as there's more and more vehicles available, uh, more and more people are looking for the products that we have. Um, so we do all of our uh, design and engineering work in-house. Uh, we also do all of the final assembly for all of our products that go out the door and go to, um, you know, residential and commercial customers. Uh, the primary function of this piece of equipment is electrical safety and uh, communication with the vehicle. Okay. So it provides electrical safety for the user, uh, the vehicle, and then the power grid. Uh, and then it also gives the vehicle a, uh, the ability to control the power flow. Uh, the actual battery charger is going to be on board the car. Okay. Um, so what a user would do is they would you know, have power applied to their station. Uh, they're going to plug it into the port on the vehicle. Uh, when they do that, the station is going to have sort of a handshake with the vehicle where it tells the car you're connected to a power source and you've got this much power available. Okay. Um, the power would depend on what type of station they have. Um, or you know what what power level what configuration uh, just as an example uh, we make you know this product our, our CS line uh, the standard is a CS 40 which goes on a 40 amp circuit and offers up to 32 amps to the vehicle um, we also make them all the way up to a CS 100 which is you could see uh, it's a much bigger cable yeah much bigger um, this one offers up to 80 amps to the vehicle, so it can charge uh, the, the really high-end vehicles. And it's, uh, you know, these are two different connectors by two different manufacturers, and they're two different power levels. Mm -hmm. But if you, uh, if you look down in there, they are, they are the same. The exact same uh, connection. Same, same connection interface, so you can, you know, plug any station into any vehicle, which is really nice for public infrastructure. Um, it's something that they, they really did it right uh, this time. Uh, and then we've got, this is a, actually a, a latest generation cable here. This is a, it's a higher power cable, but um, this was actually something that we developed with a cable manufacturer called uh, General Cable uh, to work with specifically for the fleet market. Uh, we do offer this cable on uh, some of our, our higher power residential and commercial products now. Uh, but this cable, as you can see, the first one, it's, it, this is plastic. Uh, plastic housing here, uh, you know, for the, the cable and connector assembly. This one is uh, rubber over molded. Mm -hmm. So it's got all of the, you know, uh, integral pieces inside there protected by this rubber over molding. These will actually bounce if you drop them. Right. Um, this cable, the, the cable here is designed to be as flexible as possible. Uh, this is a high power cable. This, this cable is capable of carrying 80 amps and it is uh, a little bit more flexible than this 30 amp cable first generation. So it's, uh, it's, it's very nice. Cable flexibility is very important, uh, not so much in the summertime, but in the winter. Uh, as, it, as it gets cold, it's a bunch of copper going through here, so that gets more rigid. Um, so as, as flexible as you can keep them, the better. And then here's the, uh, just the inner workings uh, of one of the commercial stations. Um, the residential products would have the same technology inside of it. It's uh, just sort of shrunken down a bit. 
Um, with these commercials, we've got extra room inside there for expansion features, um, you know, data collection systems, point of sale. But you've got a, a circuit card that is, you know, it's controlling the logic. It's doing all the electrical safety that we talked about and sending out that communication signal to the vehicle. Uh, it's also monitoring that signal. So when the vehicle requests a charge, uh, the station will activate its uh, switch in here and it'll make power available on the output side of this cable so that the vehicle can draw it through for, for charging up the batteries. Um, all of the vehicles are going to get a, a cord set, what they call a cord set in the trunk of the car, which is kind of like uh, this one over here. Uh, this is a, a, a PCS, so this is what they call a level one. Um, so this is something that uh, should have a familiar looking plug. It's going to plug into any household outlet. Mm -hmm. um, it's always recommended that when you charge with a 120 volt cord set, you use a dedicated outlet um, because it's not just this piece that's making the electrical, uh, the electrical connection, it's also the outlet that's in the wall. Um, 120 volt outlets, like any other outlet, they wear out over time. Right. They can get loose. Uh, you never want to you know, plug your, uh, your cord set into a loose outlet because that can create heat at the connection point, which is, is not good. To give a comparison, uh, the Nissan Leaf is a very popular, uh, you know, pure electric vehicle. Mm -hmm. um, so this system, from empty to full, you could charge a Nissan Leaf in about 17 to 20 hours, okay. right in that time range. Uh, with something like our, uh, H uh, our CS40, which has 32 amps available, um, if you have the Nissan Leaf with their uh, upgraded charger package, yeah. you could charge the same car in about three and a half to four hours. All right, I'm here in the back of the Clipper Creek facility. I'm here with one of the uh, leaders of the company. Could you um, introduce yourself for the folks that are watching? Hi, uh, yes, hello. Uh, my name is Jason France, and I'm the president and founder of Clipper Creek. And uh, it looks like you have a whole bunch of chargers on the back wall here. Can you talk about them a little bit and maybe what sets Clipper Creek apart from other companies? Uh, sure, yeah. If you uh, look, you can see there's a lot of electric cars here. These are all electric cars from uh, employees of of Clipper Creek. And in fact, we are not only uh, in the industry, but we're also uh, uh, proponents of electric vehicles uh, and charging, of course. And so uh, we participate in the Workplace Charging Challenge with the Department of Energy as an employer. And we encourage our, our uh, employees to buy electric cars. We have a $1,500 incentive program plus a free charging station if they participate. And we have a commitment to provide charging station, uh, a new charging station for every every new car that shows up. Oh, that's fantastic. And I'm looking at this charger and it looks a little bit different than the ones we saw inside. Could you tell us a little bit about this one? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, this is our uh, HCS40. Um, so this is uh, a new product. Well, it's pretty new. We launched this at the end of last year. Um, this station's available in uh, two configurations right now. Uh, 32 amp charging, which is the most popular flavor for uh, people at their homes and also uh, public infrastructure. And then it's also available in a higher power uh, configuration that'll charge it up to 48 amps uh, for people with uh, higher end cars like the Tesla here. Um, so this station is, it's residential for the most part. Uh, most of our customers for it are residential, but it also is great in commercial applications where they're looking to do uh, like amenity charging. So they wanted to add a, a charging station as an amenity to their property. Uh, Strip Mall wants to do it to get people to you know, charge up for a couple hours and shop while they're doing it. Uh, this is a, a really low cost solution for people like that. It's a residential price point, but commercial quality. Well, Will, you're really a powerhouse of knowledge on all this stuff here. Thank you so much for this insider tour of Clipper Creek. Oh, absolutely. Thanks for coming by. You awesome. guys are welcome anytime. Yep, thank you. I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did.